Today's objective is simple. Drink lots of water and don't die. We are the Stolies, a full-time RV family on a mission to visit all 50 US states. And in today's episode, we are installing solar on our RV roof so we can adventure off the beaten path. If you've considered solar for your RV, we hope this video is both helpful and encouraging. If you're like me, the idea of installing a solar system on your roof, an RV roof nonetheless, seems daunting. But today, I'm gonna to show you just how easy it can be. The very first thing that we're gonna to need to do is clean and prep the roof. We wanna make sure that we get any grime and debris off so that way when we lay down our sealant for the RV universal solar mounts that they're going down securely and that we don't have to worry about them coming loose anytime soon. To start cleaning, I'm using just a mix of Dawn detergent with water. I'm going to then apply the Protec Roof RV Care, our RV Rubber Roof Cleaner and Conditioner. I've got a scrub, scrub daddy brush here and then a rag to dry up any puddling water so we can move on to step number two quickly. So we finished wiping down with soap and water and now I'm applying the RV rubber roof care. Key here is you don't want the cleaner to dry on the roof so once we get this scrubbed, we need to rinse it with water right away. So number two is measuring and mapping out on the roof exactly where each panel is gonna go before we bring them up here, before we drill any holes. We wanna make sure that we have the layout right. These are the universal mounting brackets and then these are what go up and down for um, tilting. I want to give a huge shout out to Point Zero Energy, our sponsor for today's video. They have supplied us with everything that we need to make our rig adventure ready. One of the biggest things that we didn't like about season one of full-time travel was our inability to go boondocking. And we actually ran into a couple scenarios where we were trying to get back east really fast when things got cold and we had to park in several parking lots. And it was freezing cold, 26, 27 degrees outside, and we had no power in the rig. We were just basically using a portable, tiny little battery thing to power uh, a little space heater, and all of us were sleeping in one bed. So we're really excited to have this massive upgrade to our rig. Uh, this is gonna allow us to be able to do a lot of things that we've wanted to do, boondocking being one of them. And uh, hopefully, once you watch this video, you'll see how easy it is to install solar panels on the roof of your RV. I don't make these just for RVs. They have full systems for off-grid living. You should check out the website at pointzeroenergy.com. All right, this was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, so uh, if you are nervous, don't be nervous at all. Uh, you attach the first set of mounting brackets to the back of the solar panel, and then the second set, which is the set that mounts to the roof itself, just slide into place along the existing brackets that are attached to the back of your solar panel. This is so that way when you install the tilt pieces, it goes up on a hinge. Um, so now all we have to do is make sure that we're square so we can line them all up all the way down and uh, we can mark off where we need to drill and apply our adhesive. Um, now that we have the first one lined up and once I get that marked off, the following should be pretty simple. It's the next morning, sun is out. The roof is actually still wet, so I gotta wait for things to dry off because it's really slippery up here. I'm gonna start with piecing together the last three panels, and then the main focus of today is to get those mounts installed on the roof, and then we need to give them 24 to 48 hours for the sealant to adhere fully. Let's dive into getting these things pieced together and hopefully getting all the mounts set up. So for the first one, we're just gonna peel off the top. Alright, it's a very hot day, so it's not sticking so well right now. That's okay, because it's going to drop down tonight. Alright. That's 
holding. Oh, that's, that is secure. Wow, already. That is locked on there. All right, good. That gives me great confidence. And uh, with all the extra things we're doing on top of that, that that's gonna be very secure. Now that we've got the mounts mounted with the VHB tape and the bolts in place, we're gonna come back over the bolts and the edges with this universal roof sealant. It's self-leveling. This stuff is rock solid. I used it already on the roof in another place and uh, there's no way water's getting through it. And um, if you mount with it, there's no way whatever you're mounting with it is coming off. So starters, let's do these bolts. really does a good job of getting in the cracks. Coming behind with this RV sealant tape by Wellick. I'm gonna peel this back so you can see it a little bit better. I don't wanna cover up those holes because I need those holes for when we do the tilt. And I'm just gonna smooth this out, make sure that the tape gets into the seam here where we put sealant and make sure that this lays flat nice and tight work out all of the wrinkles another one down I'm really liking the way that everything's holding there is no way that these mounts are coming off of this roof we just gotta wait for the sealant to harden now I'm gonna start on the next row here and we should be good it has been 24 hours since I mounted the brackets on the roof, so I'm gonna head up, check the mountings, make sure everything is uh, bonded and secure, and then we're gonna start attaching the panels. We're gonna use the tilt so that way we have access to the electric underneath and wire all the panels together. Let's go do it. so crazy windy up here today. Stuff is just blowing everywhere. All right, I got two solar panels left. Um, the challenge with these is they're right along the edge where the AC unit is and I don't have very much room to work. But we're gonna see what we can do. All the solar panels are officially up. I'm gonna save the electric for tomorrow. We are almost done with this solar project. Today I am finishing the install of our solar panels on the RV. The process has been super easy. It's not challenging at all, but it is time consuming. And I was thinking <clears throat> what better place to install solar panels than the Sunshine State where it's literally sunny every single day. We can maximize our power. But what I didn't think about <laughs> was the heat. Um, <clears throat> it's a great way to kill yourself uh, being up on top of the roof and not in the shade for hours uh, and hours installing solar panels. Today's objective is simple. Install the electrical for the solar units, drink lots of water, and don't die. Presently, it looks like a jumbled mess, but I've got the series fully connected. I'm going to go down now. I have the Titan solar generator here and one battery pack. The other one is already fully charged and in the uh, generator bay. What I wanna do first though is test our ports here. This is where the, the roof cables will connect to the generator itself. I wanna test these ports before running them down through the roof and into the bay to make sure that all the wiring is correct. And uh, right now, I don't know if you can see it, it's super bright out. Uh, the AC unit is charging up this battery pack and everything is working accordingly. I wanna make sure that the ports are also bringing a charge to the generator from the roof before I run them down so the wiring is correct and we're good to go. All right, here is our diagram showing how we need to run our cables the final steps of finishing the electric for our solar generator. I've got the wires completely run through the wall. 
I'm getting ready to cut out a small section at the bottom base of our floor and uh, baseboard here to run the wires down out the bottom of the RV and to the uh, generator bay. The, uh, the roof and the wall were actually quite simple um, to cut out and be able to find where we needed to run the wires. I'm hoping that it will be the same. I, my only concern is that the floor is uh, much thicker and more dense than it was to go through the wall and up through the roof. Uh, but I think where we're positioned, it's gonna actually drop right down into our slide out storage bay, which would be ideal because then I'll have full access to the cables and be able to run them where I need to. So here we go, we've got <clears throat> cables right here. So that was perfect. Uh, we were able to find them right away. As soon as I popped the wall open, I just went in um, a straight line down from the hole we did at the ceiling and uh, we were very easily able to find this bottom stud. This could not have worked out any better than it did. So my goal was to try and drop the wires down into the storage bay and I guess I didn't calculate how big the master bedroom actually was. but. It worked out beautifully. So we're beyond the storage bay. This is our propane tank compartment. And right next to the propane tank compartment up here is the compartment for the generator. And if you can see, it's very dark. This red and black cable that I dropped down is what we need for the solar. And right here, this box, we just gotta drill through and then seal it, this is where the generator goes. So we are right on top of where the generator is. It was so easy, couldn't have been easier.